knew all of our obituaries, we have to I say. Know. So that's a joke that's been made many times, oh but he's Lord. fine. He yeah. just he just told us, let him colors. go. Just let me go. <laughs> Poor Dominic. He is, and he's still physically in the building. He's not gone just yet. We're going to miss him because he is Channel 4. Looking outside right now, a beautiful day. Really was a pretty afternoon, and humidity has been a little bit lower. Dew points, upper 50s and low 60s across most of the area, but humidity right now is only at 40% with a current temperature of 86 degrees. Today's high, 87. Again, yes, above average, but when you factor in the slightly lower humidity, it doesn't feel quite as bad. And again, records on these dates in early to mid-October still get into the low 90s, so even as we go into next Next week when temperatures may be flirting with around 90 degrees, it isn't unusual as our records indicate we can't get into the 90s. Now our morning start 60s and low 70s are in the metro area and probably a similar start tomorrow morning as we do have mostly clear skies outside at the moment. We'll stay under clear skies overnight and with the humidity in the lower range, we should see the temperatures dropping by the evening into the 70s and then overnight 60s and around 70 degrees still in the 80s across the area at the moment, but dew points really have been steadily decreasing all day long. Looks like we finally started to get into some of that slightly drier air, but that's not going to last for much longer with dew points right now. Upper 50 is really the only location. Kenner, everyone else low mid 60s, which again isn't a bad feel and that air mass is going to air mass is going to stick with us into the start of the weekend by late Sunday and more so into next week. Notice the winds are coming back off the Gulf and so dew points will be on the rise, although with high pressure building in that is going to keep us mostly dry, but also a bit warmer. You can already see the impacts of that upper high across the plains and even the high plains temperatures have been running well above average. This is that building ridge we've been talking about, and this is going to continue to build in over us and really dominate, especially the southern part of the nation through next week. We may see some upper troughs try and bring down some slightly cooler air across the plains and maybe up toward the Great Lakes, but these upper troughs are not moving very far south. So yet again, the western half of the nation will be feeling the more fall chill, but there does look like we may start to see a pattern shift. Now, during the week next week, the upper troughs are going to favor out west, but notice as we head into the weekend of next weekend, the upper troughs start to deepen across the Tennessee Valley and down to the southeast. So that may be the pattern shift we've been waiting for, where we actually see a real cold front to move through and finally start to see some more fall like temperatures temperatures out in the tropics. There is one area that we've been watching. Notice now it has a higher percent chance of development that is still invest 92. But over the weekend, we could see perhaps this become Wanda before it either makes its way into the Carolinas or just moves back off into the open waters. Not a threat to us, but what's kind of interesting is that if this were to become Wanda, that is the end of our storm name. So we are out and we would go to the supplemental list. But as the NHC has said that we are seeing more storms per season because more are being detected because our technology has gotten a whole lot better. So it just kind of begs the question of should we use more than just 21 names? A reminder, we don't use the letters Q, U, X, Y, and Z. So I went ahead and just had a little bit of fun and made name list. And again, we could easily use U, Q, U, X, Y, and Z. Although, you know, Zachariah, Yanni, and Xerxes may not just roll off the tongue, the names are available. So maybe we ought to expand that out. We're not seeing any kind of organization off the Carolinas right now, but again, more of just the novelty. If this were to become Wanda, we would have the second season in a row where we've run out of names and had to go to a second list. Remember, we no longer use the Greek alphabet. Gulf of Mexico, quiet as is the Caribbean, so we're not worrying about anything in the near future. And after we get past the midpoint of October, things usually do settle down. Highs could be flirting with around 90 degrees as we get into early next week. Rain chances slow to come back more toward the end of next week. Let's be honest, Chris. I mean, if we can get through Cristobal, Cristobal, Cristobal. Xerxes Z rolls off the tongue. <laughs> it does. I Yanni, like it. I like Yanni. Yanni? Yanni's good. Yanni. All right. Uh, I think you're on to something. All right. Thank you, Chris. Might be. <laughs> well,